what does really the word secular mean? I mean, if we really think about it, strictly speaking, secularism implies separation in entirety of the church and state. Um, and uh, in a secular nation, the government must stay away from anything that is remotely religious. But it's very odd to my mind that the word secular was not part of the preamble to the Indian constitution when it was originally adopted. Uh, and why was such an important word left out? To my mind, the omission was deliberate. What is even more surprising is that the two people who actually guided the drafting of the preamble, uh, that is Ambedkar and Nehru, uh, their so-called uh, secular credentials were unimpeachable. Right. So to be secular in the truest sense of the word, the Indian state would have to stay out of the religious ambit completely. Right. And frankly, in the Indian context, uh, Sharan, it was impossible. How could Indian courts recognize Sharia-based Muslim personal law while claiming to be secular? How could central and state governments take over the management of Hindu temples if they were secular? How could a secular government provide financial assistance to educational institutions run by religious organizations? Uh, how would a secular government codify and modify Hindu personal law? Uh, how would the government extend, for example, the existing caste-based reservations to minority religions if it were secular? So these were some of the actions which would clearly fall outside the remit of a secular nation. Uh, and the writers of the preamble realized that it was better not to use the term uh, rather than to use it dishonestly. So the word right. secular only creeps into the constitution in the emergency years in 1975 through an ordinance.